Now we're going to check out how to use the filter function on SurveyMonkey. So we'll log in to our page here, find the workshop registration survey, and go over to analyze results. I know that there's a workshop coming up later on in July in St. Albans that I want to see how many people are registered for it so far. To do so, I'll use the filter by filtering by question and answer, choosing the workshop I know I want to take a look at, which is down here, St. Albans, Wednesday evenings, July 18th and 25th, and click apply. Now I can see that there are seven people registered for that workshop. In addition to checking how many people are registered for the workshop, I would also be able to make an attendance sheet um, to print out for the facilitator for that workshop from here. To do so, I'd go to Save As, Export File, All Individual Responses, select a Excel sheet, Export. download and you'll see the Excel file that's been downloaded pop up. Click on the file that I want and then I could just eliminate all of these um, columns that I don't need and print out just the attendance sheet. Something to keep in mind is generally when there are about 12 to 15 responses in a particular workshop, that's when we, we want to hide it um, or close it for registration. To cancel a filter, I can either hop to another one um, if I wanted to check out the Keys to Credit in Burlington on Monday evenings, I would just click that one and unhighlight the one that had been highlighted. And then you'd be able to see that there are 14 people registered for this workshop. Um, let's see. Down here is another filter that had already been used in June. And if I don't want to view this anymore, I can delete that rule, no problem. Same with this one, June 11th already passed. Delete that rule. Okay. And to go back to all of the responses for all the workshops available, you would just unhighlight any of the filters that had been selected. 